Let's do a quick check with this problem. We have the weights of certain brand of candies are normally distributed with a mean of uh, 0.8595 grams and a standard deviation of 0.0518 grams. A sample of candies comes up from a package of 444 candies. The package labeled um, package label stated that the net weight is 378.8 grams. If every package had 444 candies, the mean weight of the candies must exceed um, the, the label that says 378.8 divided by the number of candies, 444, so each candy should be about 0.8531. For the net contents of the weights, at least that's at least 378.8 grams. So uh, the first question, if one candy is randomly selected, find the weight that it, uh, find the probability that it weighs more than uh, 0.8531. So we want to make note that this is a normal distribution with a given mean and standard deviation. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that information and uh, use um, you can, if you use your calculator, you would be using this command called normal CDF, but we're going to use StatCrunch for us. And then in StatCrunch, we're going to go into uh, Stat, and it's going to be a calculator. This is a normal distribution calculator, so we're going to use normal. Um, so our calculator is going to be between values, so we're going to try to remember what our values were or what our mean and standard deviation were, and then we're going to put into the values. So our mean looks like it's uh, 0.8595, and our standard deviation looks like it's 0 0.0518. And then now we want, hmm, we want it to be greater than, um, this is a greater than sign over here, uh, <clears throat> and then we want it to be greater than We want our x to be greater than, what was it again? It was um, greater than 8531. So 0.8531. And then if we ask it to compute, we'll see that there's a normal curve over here, the shading um, that goes beyond 0.85. Uh, nine five, and uh, the mean, which is right in the middle, is eight five three one, and so it's a little bit to the right of that. So it's going to be a little bit more than fifty percent. We get a fifty four point, uh, or let's just say point five four nine one six, and let's uh, let me copy the whole thing and see what it's asking for. They want us to round off to four decimal places. So that would be 5, 4, 9, 1, and 6 is bigger than 5, so I think I'm going to need to change the 1 into a 2. Now that we have that, uh, the next question is asking us about 44 candies that are randomly selected. Find the probability that their mean weight is uh, at least or bigger than or equal to uh, 0.8531. So with that, we're interested in, um, <clears throat> oh, so this is 0 0.8531, and then now we want uh, a mean of 444 candies. And so the mean is going to be using uh, the notation X bar, and we want to know when the mean is bigger than, or at least, so x bar is bigger than or equal to uh, 0 0.8531. Now, when we're looking at mean and standard deviations of, um, of the means of things, uh, the mean of the means, according to the central limit theorem, will stay the same. But the standard deviation of the means is going to change a little bit. 
So this is actually going to be divided by the square root. It's the original standard deviation divided by the square root of n, and in this case n is 444. So we're going to use the same mean, uh, but the standard deviation is going to be different. So the mean is 8595. So let's go back to StatCrunch. And we have, uh, we have this, but let's, uh, let's open up another window, StatCrunch calculator, normal. And uh, the mean is 8595. The standard deviation, I'm, I copied it, and I'm going to paste it. So it's going to be 0 0.0518 divided by the square root of 444. Now you can punch this into the calculator to get an actual value, but um, I just typed it all in, and I think this this program is going to be smart enough to know that the square root of a number is going to be whatever that number is, square rooted. And we want a greater than symbol. And here we want it to be greater than, uh, what was it again? We want it to be greater than 0.5. 0.8531. So let's compute it. Uh, this time, way more than 50% is shaded. It goes all the way over here. So in fact, the probability here is 0.99538. I think let's pick up and copy that and paste it onto our answers. And rounding off to four decimal places, this is going to be 9954. And that's our value. So that's, uh, if we just pick one randomly, there's about a 50% chance that the weight of that candy is going to be bigger than 0.8531. But if we get a group of um, 444 candies, then the probability is almost guaranteed that we're going to have uh, the mean weight is going to be bigger than 0.8531. So given these results, does it mean that the candy company is providing consumers with the amount claimed in the label? Uh, it looks like it. It looks like there's a strong possibility here. So we'll say yes because the probability of getting a sample mean of this thing uh, great when it's uh, when we take 444 candies. Is, uh, is not exceptionally small. It's, it's almost guaranteed that we're going to get a mean weight. And so that's exactly what the label is saying. So let's check our answer. And there you go. Okay, I hope that helps.